Hello everybody, I am SJF95 Fighter and welcome back to Broken Age. So we're picking up where we left off last time where we discovered that there's a a blow up doll of our cell. For some fair reason, nothing to do with any fetishes or anything. He's not hungry. I'm going to call him Little Lazy Me. That's probably what I'd call my Little blow up doll too if I had one. I think we're just gonna sneak him. This looks enough like me to fool the warden. Hopefully. I don't I think it could probably fool the computer. Let's go and see what's inside this vent that the computer keeps hiding us from. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. <laughs> Man, computers are stupid. Honestly, your computer still manages to confuse that with a person. Pretty fucking dumb. Okay, wow, this is like Whoa. a layer. It's How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came. Because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. Oh no. Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak. The tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. Is this just... Yes. We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah. I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. Young cub? Well, okay then. So, now shit is going down. War always happens. This What's door is this locked. Door? This is a stealth mission. Not safe to use the hallways, understand? Well, okay then, I'll just go for the vent. has come to play with the Space Weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. <laughs> okay, I won't then. I still don't even have any idea what's going on. Let's see, who the hell are you? Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires, as long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your passage. There's no point. You're not gonna help me. Let's see. If I gotta go down here. If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. A nav scarf? 
Oh, that's worth a try. The star chart for Tower Nebula. Let's see. I don't know. If I give the space weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern. This is the star chart for Talon Nebula. So I have to find a different one. Okay. Let's go through this door here. Negative. This door is locked. Okay, so I have no choice. But why isn't that working? I should show this to the space weaver. Let's see. Come on, Grab and Gary. Be more fun. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? <sighs> well, maybe I've got to show that to, to him, so we got to go here and then... Hey, Space Weaver. Want a little robot friend? There is no room in the Space Weaver's life for friendship. He slides alone. Like a shuttle of yarn across the warp of time on an ever shortening thread. Yeah, that's cool. Gary's a loner too, so. Let's see. What about Stay the spoon? I think there might be food around. Always, sir. No, I'm probably going to have to look at and figure out what to do next. On the other hand, let's see what happens, what's happening with the girl. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually know or remember the names at the moment. Oh, whoa, was that bad? I was sinking into the clouds. Was I going to fall? I don't know, but I don't think I want to risk it. Let's go here and see who these du dudes are, because they seem to have some importance. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. With an apostrophe. We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chick. So who are you guys? Are we? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Hmm. Who's Jesse? That big blue oligol you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Yeah, I could clearly see she was being really uh, really aggressive about her egg. I was trying to say thank to her and she just bit at me. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Hmm. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Greener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that old fell short. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Who speaks, cause leaks. Brother Lightbeard? Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? It sounds like God to? or something. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. What? <laughs> Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense. Mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many mm. eggs, or get too fat, and then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. 
Okay, I see. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? That's what I want to know. Volume. No, son. Try again. Jeez. Um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. I see. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. Hmm, let's see. Uh... I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mom Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Being Hopefully eaten? I don't think that's an honor. And shell mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Hmm. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mog Chathra. Jesus, these guys are. I'm willing to bet that they've all been told a lie and it's a big conspiracy. Uh, thing that's happening that is. Anyway, I should probably stop talking because I'm probably just an idiot and don't know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Hmm. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes. It's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. I need to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chip. <laughs> Sorry, Pop. <laughs> it's really tough. I'm gonna go around asking some of these birds. You birds want to help me kill Mom Chathra? Ah, jeez. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Looks like I should go that direction for more clouds. We're gonna see. Want to give me a lift? No? I, I'm wondering what happens if I stay on the clouds and fall right off. But I have a feeling that's going to be a bad idea. Oh, just like that. Oh, so if I fall through, they'll just catch me and I'll... Get yeah, right back up. Hmm. Okay, on. Careful. Ah. Whoops. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> uh. So, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No, Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. That's a good way to explain it, I guess. Hey, can I ask 
you about those weird guys down there? Uh, my husband and son. Uh, what do they do this time? I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. <laughs> I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Sure. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off their head in the cloud somewhere. You know what I mean. Hmm. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Hmm. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? Hmm. You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Yeah. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Ah, uh, yeah, I've been noticing that. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Hmm. Why don't you use your tea? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. No. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. Let's see. No, I don't have the, the knife I had before. Have I got to go on a quest to find that knife? Let's see. Uh, hmm. Maybe this sign is only for birds. Let's see, I think I gotta go this way. I'm gonna check out what's over here. Perhaps it's something that'll be of some help. This game is so beautiful. I, I almost thought that was a cinematic. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hi, what? are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh, yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fathur. Like a light, beautiful feather. But lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. Hmm. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Huh. Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. So that means, yeah. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults can I go up and see mr. Lightbeard all are welcome on brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering what kind of offering it's not the object that matters but the thought behind it huh weird do you know where Gus went he's got an egg I need that one is struggling with the concept of lightness he is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. <laughs> Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. 
Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. May the wind be under your feet. Uh, another one of these her. Okay, so I've got to find something to offer up. Hi there. You birds want to help me kill Mogchathra? No. I don't think they would. Alright. Let's see. I'm gonna try this bird passageway. See if that'll do anything. Oh jeez. Hi, I'm Mag... Mm. McGee. Hey, what's up? <sighs> Nothing. What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, Hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> uh, should that be... It's a little bit creepy. Your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? Your dad's in a cult? Ah, uh, he's just taking this light bird worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. Line <laughs> dancing? Is that what she said? I have no idea. Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, a cold one in the background. get dusty or something. How do you get dust all the way up the top of the cloud? I don't know. Maybe I don't know much about science or logic or, or anything, but I don't think dust gets all the way up to the clouds. How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. <laughs> hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. Alright. That's gonna help me in some way. Why'd they take out the Feather Vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. So they just cut it off so that no one can leave? But what if you come across a person that for some reason does want to leave, like me? Maybe I should just jump. Tried it, no good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder, but it would have to be much taller than mine. There was a ladder uh, way back in the main thing. I don't know if that's going to do anything because it seemed like if I did climb down that, it would be way too easy and it seems to be really hard for these guys to get down. Maybe they just haven't seen it. I don't know. Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Gah. Still disgusting. <laughs> hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older, senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. Oh, that's... Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Hey. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, hey, don't homemade tell her is I said good. That. The shoe thing is all she's got. Oh, yeah, I'll I met you her. Alone. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Can I go that way? <clears throat> Hey, 
Can't get up there. Oh no, no, no. I'm gonna go back. Let's see. Try the ladder here. Ah. Hey, knock it off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird. This is all your fault. Alright, so I'm gonna need something else. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Alright, let's go back. At least I know I've got to get to that golden egg now. Hey, welcome back. Oh, that's the knife. Let's use the ladder here. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. How the hell did it get all the way up here? All right, now I can go back and give her that knife and hopefully she'll give me shoes and then that will help me with the bird's nest somehow, I think. I gotta go take a look. Jeez, this is such a bizarre game. Get back to your work. Hang on, I think well, I'm gonna try giving this. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Say, Here. that's some knife. Good balance, nice heft. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. Here. Thanks. Uh, All right. I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're gonna be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. Am I gonna be able to wear them? Or maybe I'm gonna use those shoes as support. Or perhaps I'm offering them up to Lightbeard. I'm gonna go try them out in the nest. Hey again. I am not going back to offer myself up to Monchathra. I don't care. Let's see. I can't get them to stay on my feet. Oh, but I know. Yeah, there we go. Turns out I am grateful for these shoes. All right. Let's do this now. Big deal, bird. Like I even need hooks now. Exactly. Aha! Solid as a rock. Peekaboo. That's right. It's me, your worst nightmare. Hey, come back here and get your come up and on second thought, don't come back until you get some pants. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Better stick to the pads while I'm carrying this. Yeah. Am I gonna sink faster now? I do! Wow, that was so fast. I stole it first. Ah, god damn it. I gotta go back up and get it again. Alright. Let's get over this way. Go! 
Ah! What am I supposed to do? Hey, that bird swiped my golden egg. Not fair. I stole it first. Hmm. That is one heavy looking egg. I'm gonna try one more time. I think I might have to throw it that way. Better stick to the paths while I'm carrying this. No. Well, I think that I'll just. Uh, no, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna need something else. Hey, that bird swiped my golden egg. Not fair. I stole it first. No, I'm gonna. F All right, I'm gonna leave the episode there. I've gotta go and um, check out how I'm meant to do this. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Talk to you later, guys. Bye bye.